This photo flew around the world just in a few hours. Not a lot of people know that this tired girl had almost no strength left. She had a broken finger, all the muscles in her body ached, because the animals were pulling her to all the sides for three hours till they reached the location of evacuation. It is shocking how maimed dogs in wheelchairs with injured paws and stitched backs managed to overcome that journey. Welcome to the Unique UA channel. Subscribe to see firsthand the stories of real events which happen in Ukraine during the war. 20-year-old Anastasia Taika with her husband Arthur Lee have evacuated 15 dogs, most of which are disabled, 5 cats, a chameleon, a turtle, a hamster and a spider from the occupied city of Urban. A married couple works in animal protection and temporary care. They provide medical help and dog training, buy wheelchairs, and keep dogs till they find new owners. Till the last moment, we plan to stay at home. We had a storage of food and water for us and for animals. When we heard gunfire and explosions, electricity, gas and water disappeared we understood that we urgently had to save ourselves and our animals. To evacuate we had to walk a long distance, our dogs are wild and ill and it was clear that we wouldn't be able to take all of them. Recollected Anastasia. Danger of evacuation was obvious, but they decided to take their chance anyway. At that time there were well-known situations when Russian occupants shot local people while they were trying to evacuate from the city. It was hard to imagine how a journey with that many animals could have ended. At first it was hard to move for the girl, as the dogs didn't want to walk, they were resisting. Big animals were turning over wheelchairs in which disabled dogs were. They had to lift them again and put the dogs back inside. Cats were sitting in a supermarket trolley. Some dogs were carried in arms, especially a disabled dog which scratched his paws to blood. The girl recollected a stranger called Valentine with gratitude. He helped to lead some dogs and a trolley with cats. Together they overcame a dangerous path to the bridge, where a lorry for animal evacuation was waiting. Without him a journey would have taken about five hours. Recollected the couple. The Ukrainian military helped volunteers a lot on the bridge. Men from Territory Defense ran to us and asked, how can we help? Which animal to hold? Where to bring? They carried all of our dogs in arms and brought them to the lorry. I was leading only the most aggressive dogs. They wouldn't let anyone but me lead them. We were lucky and at that time the evacuation was quiet. An hour later people were shot on the bridge by the Russians. Said Nastia. Men from Territory Defense asked to take their dog called Druzba, Friendship, as well. The volunteers are already looking for a new family for him. On their way volunteers lost four dogs, one of which was their own dog Zevs. That's why when they brought all other animals to Kiev, Nastia and Arthur returned on foot to shattered and abandoned Urban to find their dogs. Animals are like children to me. You can't abandon children. Said Nastia. Fortunately, that risky mission to save lost dogs was successful. They found Zevs and some other abandoned animals which the couple took with them. The photo of the heroic deed impressed people all over the world so much that Nastia received messages from people who wanted to take her dogs to their families. All the dogs from the photo found their new families and moved abroad to England, Croatia, Italy, France, Poland, Germany. Now the couple carries on their mission of saving injured and abandoned animals. They remind all the world that you always have to try and save your dearest animals as well as people in all circumstances.